So how do we add a row to the end of a table using Office Scripts in Excel Online? So um, it's relatively easy. Um, we don't need to iterate through every row in a table. Um, we don't need to search for the end of a table uh, and then add one to any row count. Uh, we don't need to uh, create or capture a row count at all. There is actually only one line needed uh, to do this. Um, it is something that is also very easy in VBA. And thankfully, uh, it is the same uh, in Office Script. So as we can see here, I have a script uh, written that does this. So let me explain what we have. We have on the left, uh, the Excel workbook itself is displaying a table. The table name, and if we click into the worksheet to give it the focus and there's two ways of ascertaining the name of a table. Uh, you can see that it's defined and formatted as a table because of the colouring. Uh, though that can be uh, overwritten to some extent, though it does retain the outline. So you can always see uh, a formatted table. But if we look up here at the table name, we can see that the, uh, the only table in existence is called Table 1. And this is a formatted table. Um, one thing I want to point out, if you select the table like this, including the field names like that the name of the table does not appear in the uh, name box as we can see here the trick is to highlight it correctly and that is the rows only so if we do it that way then we can see the name um, in my view that's actually slightly confusing uh, because the table is not just its rows it's its field names as well um, so I think it's something that uh, perhaps was uh, overlooked by the designers and perhaps not because um, the uh, extent of the um, programming and uh, consideration of uh, issues like this is quite extensive um, at Microsoft and um, it would not surprise me in the least that they've deliberately done this uh, to exclude field names and it's something that perhaps somebody uh, would, would actually know the answer to at Microsoft and could, could uh, let us all know. But in the meantime, let's have a look at the current uh, task here about adding a row to the end of a table. So um, we have there the table that is uh, defined. And if we go through to the script itself, um, the major component of the script is simply declaring the variables. Um, and uh, the, 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 the line that we actually need is this one. Um, it's the table um, using the method add row and that suffices. One of the things uh, that is different between Office Scripts and VBA is in VBA um, it's an implicit declarative language in that you don't always have to declare the variables whereas in Office Scripts you do um, and if you don't you get lots of errors in the red text and it will not compile and it will not run. So um, as you can see here I've, I've had to declare three variables a sheet, a table and a row uh, to do this. So um, let's have a look at how it performs. So we can see that uh, the script uh, is not displaying any errors uh, in the, um, the pre-compiled or pre-checked mode. If we click run, it takes a while to start uh, because it's having to send a message over to uh, the server and the server has to reply. Um, and we can see that it did run successfully and we see that the new row was added and the table itself has extended by one row. We didn't have to program that. It, uh, the function of a table, uh, the functionality is to extend automatically if you start typing in and thankfully uh, it also operates the same when the script runs. And we can see here that I've manually uh, inserted the row uh, using static values there, 456, uh, and then um, ran this method, the add row. And we can see that the row is an array and it takes an array variable, a parameter here, you can see. So that's how we do it.